Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today I get to walk you around a brand new 2023 Newmar King Air 4531. So first, for, uh, first 2023 King Air that we've actually received from the factory. And I will say this is a pretty awesome coach. So before we start walking around the inside, we're gonna walk all the way around the outside. Let's start with the exterior paint scheme. That is gonna be the Merlot full body paint. Very pretty, kind of vibrant red, black. And for 2023, they kind of tamed down the graphics so we don't get as many swirls and things as we used to in these paint schemes. Now standard on the 2023 is the Gerard Nova awning package. Now with that Gerard awning package, we get four window awnings on the 4531. So those are just gonna come out over our main windows there. Now with Gerard window awnings, they, are no, they no longer have a frame to them. They never have the guide rails or an anchor point. So they are a frameless awning just like our integrated rooftops and they do have a wind sensor built in. So if they start bouncing around too much in the wind, they'll just go ahead and retract themselves to prevent damage. With that, we also get the two integrated roof awnings. One of them is coming out now. So nice big dual pitch awning. So it comes out and then goes down a little bit farther. And then we have the over the door awning. Now each of these awnings does have a built in light. So if you have them out at night, you get a little bit of light off of them as well. And then here comes that last one on its way out. Now I'm controlling all of that with the Gerard remote right here in my hand. You can also control them from the inside. There's also a controller down below. So we're gonna start here with one of our fuel fills. The 2023 Newmark King Air comes with a 165 gallon diesel fuel tank. It does have dual side fuel fills so you can pull into a truck stop, use, a, uh, use the big truck stop pumps to fill up a little bit faster. In the first storage compartment, we have nothing but storage. Very nice, aesthetically approving or aesthetically appealing uh, kind of covering in there. And then the 2023 King Air does come standard with soft closing baggage doors. So I'll show you that in a second. Second storage bay here, we have the electric rollout tray. So this is gonna come out 60% either direction and has 1,000 pounds of capacity. Now having it electric is a pretty nice feature. Don't have to throw your back out trying to pull it out if you get up to that thousand pounds of capacity. In here, we also have a couple extra tiles Newmar throws in with every new coach, just in case you're ever to drop something on one, crack one, break one somehow, we always have spares. And then up top, we have the shelving, just to optimize that storage a little bit better, use up some of that free space. Now with those quiet closing baggage doors, basically I'm just gonna push it to the latch and then it sucks itself the rest of the way back in and then you get the push button to open it. So push the button, hold it for about a second, and it opens right up. Now, if this system ever failed for some reason, there is an emergency way to open these doors without the power, um, and we will show you that on the time of delivery. We're not gonna put it on a video. In the sidewall here, we have a 43-inch HD TV. This is gonna be a Samsung 43-inch HD Smart TV, so if you wanna use your streaming services, Hulu, Netflix, Spotify, whatever you're using nowadays, you can go ahead and hook this up to the internet and use those streaming services. Now on the roof, there's also a satellite dish for Dish Network from the factory. So if you wanna use that, we can help you set that up as well. Next storage compartment, again, this is just gonna be another power extend tray. In there right now, we also have the toolkit for our central vacuum system, which is standard on the 2023 King Air. And then here we have the Dometic CFX refrigerator freezer on a slide tray. So this is a dual compartment refrigerator freezer. You can control the temperature so you can have one side as a refrigerator, one side as a freezer, both refrigerator, both freezer, however you want to have it set up. And then also in this compartment, you're gonna see that central vacuum. Now, this is where we're gonna change our bags uh, and filters or if you want to hook up a hose to it, you can do things like vacuum out your storage compartments, your tow vehicle, whatever you need. Next compartment, 
Now, this one's a little bit shallow because on the back side of that metal paneling there, we actually have our 105 gallon fresh water tank. But I like to think of this compartment as kind of an emergency supplies, you know, a couple extra quarts of oil, maybe a spare bell of uh, air dryer, all your things you might need in case of a breakdown, this is a great place to keep them in this coach. The 2023 Newmark King Air comes standard with two lithium battery packs. So we have one on this side, one on the other side. They total 2,520 amp hours, 1,260 amp hours each, and they are completely independent from each other. With that big lithium battery pack, we do have two 3,000 watt inverters, which gives us the ability to run one of our air conditionings off of battery power while we're driving down the road. Now, while you can use it when you're sitting still, um, it's more designed, you know, if someone's sitting in the back while you're in transit, you can have that air conditioning on, getting them airflow, or before you get to your destination, you can turn on that air conditioning, start cooling the coach down before you get into warm weather. With that battery system, we also get this LI3 battery management system. So it's called the Never Die battery management system. What's really cool about this is it will actually shut down your battery power before your coach dies. So basically what's gonna happen is if this battery pack got to 10% of its capacity, it would just go ahead and shut it all off. And then you'd come over here, there's a button to reset it, push the button and it brings it all back to life. It really prevents you from coming back to a dead coach. Let's say you're out for the day, you lose power in the park, um, it's not sunny enough for the solar to work, whatever happens, you can come over, push this button, it'll bring the coach back to life, ensuring that you don't come back to a dead coach and have to figure out how to deal, how to deal with that. Another feature on the 2023 Newmark King Airs is we have blind spot monitoring standard on the Spartan K3 chassis. So we have six sensors, three on each side, that are gonna tell us if there's someone sitting here that we would not be able to see in our mirror. Basically, there's just a little light in the mirror that's gonna light up if there's someone there. In here, we have our 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. And then above that tank, we have the emergency strader valves to inflate the air system on this coach. Really, it's meant to be used for towing. Uh, if you ever had to have it towed, they have access to that very easily. But let's just say you were in a park, you go to leave, and for some reason, one of your airbags isn't inflating, you can inflate it here to get yourself to a service facility. In the last compartment on the passenger side, we have our chassis maintenance compartment. So two chassis batteries, which are gonna be used to start the engine and generator. Two circuit breakers here, which are going to completely disconnect that battery system from the rest of the coach. So if you're putting it in storage for an extended period of time, you can turn those off to ensure you don't have any parasitic draw on your batteries. Auxiliary compressor. Now that switch is used to build air pressure for the rear hatch on this coach. It is an air lift rear hatch to access the engine. And then last but not least, we have our fuel water separator and air dryer, nice and easy to access for your maintenance items. So I'm gonna leave that open for now. Come around to the back of the coach. The 2023 Newmark King Air is built on the Spartan K3 chassis, which is powered by a Cummins ISX, producing 605 horsepower, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Now Spartan does a great job of making your maintenance items very easy to access. So transmission fluid and dipstick there, engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill, fuel filter, and then this is a Newmar thing, but we also have our Oasis fluid. Basically that's gonna be what heats our coach. All nice and easy to access if you are the kind of person to do your own maintenance. Let me go ahead and shut this hatch now. Also on the back of this coach, we do have a three angle backup camera. So we can set that to look down, out, or a wide angle, just depending on what we need at the time. All LED marker lights, reverse lights, and tail lights. And then down below, we have a two and a half inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity and a 2,000 pound vertical weight capacity. So our tongue weight of our trailer can be up to 2,000 pounds. Over here, we have the connection for the Air Force One braking system, seven pin connector for trailer brakes and trailer lights, and then the Voyager connection for if you were towing a big stacker or a big trailer with cameras on it, we can display those on the dash rather than having to have a separate monitor for them. Come around to the driver's side. 
We'll go ahead and look at those two window awnings. So we have four big windows in this coach and they all have the Girard window awnings over the top of them. Again, those do have a wind sensor built in, so if it ever gets too windy, they'll just go ahead and retract themselves for or to prevent damage. Right here, we've got the other side for our diesel exhaust fluid fill. Again, 15 gallon tank, fill it from both sides. Place to store your black and gray tank hose. And then the other side of our battery bank here. So again, two lithium battery packs operating independent from each other. So we have another one of those never die battery, battery management systems here. 2,520 amp hours total. And then the water bay on the 2023 Newmar King Air. So Newmar's done a really good job at kind of simplifying this bay um, or just making it look a little bit nicer in comparison to other manufacturers. But behind door number one, we have the mana block system. So if one of our fixtures inside has a leak, we can actually isolate that fixture. That way it's not gonna ruin our trip. Down below here, we have a manual extend power retract water hose reel, which prevents you from having to carry another hose. Standard on the 2023 King Air, we have the RV SantaCon system, which is a macerator pump to pump out our gray and black tanks. And then gray and black tank rinse, winterization valve and a whole house water filter behind door number two. 2023 King Air is standard with electric gray and black tank valve open or electric opening gray and black tank valves. And then new for 2023, this is a pretty cool feature. We actually have a tilt mode. So basically if I hit this start button right now, what it's gonna do is lean this entire coach over towards the driver's side to help with draining and dumping the gray and black tank. Also on that panel, we can do things like turn on our exterior security lights so we can see what we're doing out here, start and stop the generator, as well as just monitor our tank levels. I did mention on the other side is 105 gallons of fresh water. We have 80 gallons of gray and 60 gallons of black on the 2023 4531. Next compartment, 50 amp power cord on a reel. So again, it is going to be a manual extend power retract. 50 amp power cord, it is a 50 foot cord. And then the other side of our pass-through storage base, again, 60% either the direction, 1,000 pounds of capacity on these trays. And there you go, that's full extension. And we'll go all the way back in. Boom. All right. Same thing here. I'm not going to make you guys watch me extend or retract this one again. Same thing, 60% either direction, 1,000 pounds of capacity. And then last kind of compartment here, we have the pressure washer down in this bay. So this pressure washer actually does have a hot water line run to it. Uh, so you can actually come out here, you know, you get to a campground, your coach has a bunch of bugs on it, spray it off, make it look nice and pretty. We also have a UV water filter up in the top left side there, which is going to go straight to the refrigerator, or we have an actual filtered water tap on the counter in this coach. The other side of our fuel fill, so again, 165 gallons of diesel fuel, dual side fuel fill, and then in the front here, HWH hydraulic slide out tray, which houses our own in 12,500 watt diesel generator. So this diesel generator is gonna pull directly off of the 165 gallon fuel tank and power everything on this coach. Now, while we're just sitting right here, let's talk about this. The stock number of this coach is 5N220578. Again, it is a 2023 Newmar King Air 4531. So now we can go on inside, take a look at the coach from the inside of it. 
Now, right here next to the entry door, standard on the new Mark King Air, we do get keyless entry. So one, we get a fob to lock and unlock the door, but we can also do it from here. If we hold the one, it'll lock everything, including our baggage doors. And then if we type in the code and hit the one, it'll unlock the entry door. If we type in the code and hit the two, it'll unlock everything. Also, we have a doorbell camera. So if I were to ring the doorbell here, it actually pops up that camera on the screens inside to let me know who is at the door. Also standard, we get the HWH hydraulic triple step. Now there are safety sensors built in, so if this was coming out too far or hit a curb or something, it would actually just stop itself rather than doing damage. And then new for 2023, we get the sliding screen door. Instead of having the screen door built into the door, which tended to rattle in previous years. And as we come in this 2023 new Mark King Air, I do have it fully closed up so that you can see what your space looks like while you're in transit. So this is gonna be the access you have to the coach while you're driving down the road. So access to the refrigerator, both sides, freezer, and then most importantly, the half bathroom right here, which is going to have a toilet. You'll see that here in just a minute. Good access here. A um, little tight right there, but nothing that isn't manageable. So now we'll go ahead and extend these slides. So while these are going out, let's talk about some things we can't see from the outside of the coach. Up on the roof, this coach is optioned with the four 110 watt solar panels, totaling 440 watts of solar to charge those two lithium battery packs. We also have three 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps built into them. And then we have a dish, a wine guard traveler set up for dish network on this particular coach. If you're not going to be using dish network, we can change that out as well. We also have a Wi-Fi Ranger up top there. It is the Aspen model, which is a 4G LTE router. If you want to put a SIM card in it or just a Wi-Fi booster, if you want to do it that way, um, something that's pretty cool that we just got is we got the new Starlink setup, the mobile RV Starlink system. And basically it mounts on the roof and will give you Wi-Fi in motion. The other day we were testing it out. We put it on another coach. We were testing it out and running 65 miles an hour down the road, my boss was sitting in the passenger seat and was able to start a, a Zoom meeting with the sales team. And it was clear enough that they could tell where we were and what we were doing. Um, and that was just the first thing we ever really tried with it. We are still kind of testing, learning about it, but the new Starlink system is here and it is working very well so far. Last slide here. And also going back to that Starlink system, we can put that on any coach from vans up to these super C's, class A's, um, anything you want to put it on, we can put that Starlink system on there. I think it's $150 a month um, is your subscription fee, but it is pay as you go. So you don't have to, you know, start a contract and get locked into that. Um, really, really cool system so far. In the back of this 2023 new marking air, we do have the cedar line closet, shoe shelving along the back of it. And then up on the top rail, we do have the inlaid light, which turns on automatically when we open the door. Absolutely beautiful closet. To the right of that, dual sink. Now we've got the pressed stainless steel sink here, very aesthetically appealing. And then on the left side, we have a medicine cabinet with two 110 volt outlets. So we do have power. And then down below, we have two more uh, 110 volt outlets, four more really. And then storage. Now every drawer and cabinet in this 2023 new marking air is gonna be soft closing. Great bathroom storage for all your toiletries. And then right next to that we do have Sorry, Joe, didn't mean to just jam you in there. <laughs> the Whirlpool stacked washer and dryer. 
Now, they went back to the Whirlpool stacked washer and dryer because it is a uh, vented dryer, which was a bit of a problem in the 2022 models. And then opposite of the washer and dryer, we have the fully tiled 50 inch wide or long by 34 inch wide shower. So really big shower in here. We get the rain shower head as well as the wand, assist sand handle, and then the fold down shower seat. And then this does have the shower miser system, which basically is a recirculation system. It's going to take the cold water from the lines and cycle it back into your hot or your fresh water tank. So you have hot water on demand. Now the hot water is coming from the Oasis system. The Oasis system is a hydronic heater, which is 85,000 BTUs of heat as well as on demand hot water. Coming into the bedroom, Another 43 inch HD TV, another Samsung as well, and it is a smart TV as well. A little bit of storage on both sides. And then this particular 4531 down below does have the option for the fireplace. Now that's gonna be equivalent to a 5,000 BTU furnace. If you put it on heat mode, you can also just have it on for the lighting or the ambiance of it. You don't have to turn it on to heat. Storage all the way across here. for additional wardrobe, and then a solid surface countertop, phone wallet keys before you go to bed. We do have pop-up outlets on that as well, so they don't eat up any of your counter space if you're gonna be using that as counter space, but you still have power available. On the opposite side, we have a 72 by 80 king bed. More storage up across the top, as well as more outlets back in there. And then on both sides of the bed, we have the nightstands with built-in charging. So wireless charging for your cell phone. Just put it on top there. It'll kick itself on, start charging. And then sliding doors to isolate the bedroom from the rest of the coach for your privacy needs. Now, new for 2023, Instead of the old seven inch silver leaf panel, we now have a 10 inch silver leaf panel. They have also refined it a little bit to make it a little bit more user friendly. So right now we're looking at the home screen. So we, on the home screen, we have our fresh black and gray water levels, our house battery levels, chassis battery levels, as well as what our power source is. Now, one thing I wanna point out is our house battery levels are represented represented in a percentage rather than like our chassis where it says 13.1 12.9 bouncing back and forth a little bit there now it may just be me but i find it much easier to understand where my batteries are actually at looking at 91 percent rather than looking at 13 volts they do i told you those battery packs do run independent of each other so we have two different percentage levels next screen is going to be ac power Basically, this is gonna be our inverter controls. So inverter one, inverter two, we can also run those independently of each other. It's also gonna tell us how much power we're using at the current time. DC power, this is just gonna show us our battery levels again. Generator, so we can start and stop the generator from here. We can also set our auto gen system. So what auto gen system is, is we can set it so if our batteries get too low or it gets to a certain temperature in here, it turns the generator on, turns on the air conditioning, cools it down. If the batteries get too low, turns on the generator, charges them back up, and then shuts itself down. Water, so fresh black and gray tank levels again. Again, 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray, 60 gallons of black. Turn the water pump on and on, and then auto fill the tank. So we can actually just be sitting in here on city water, decide we're gonna head out, push a button, fills the tank, and then shuts itself back off. Climate control, so we do have three zone climate control in the 2023 new marking air. It's gonna be front, middle, rear, and that is going to be our three 15,000 BTU air conditionings, or the heat if we choose to run it that way. I'm gonna come back to that one. Floor heat over here. So we do have 10 levels of floor heat. Again, it is controlled in zone, so front, middle, rear. And then this is the battery screen. So 
this is a pretty cool way to be able to look at your battery levels. So right now it's saying that out of the 1,260 amp hours, we have 1,142 available, which is 91% of our battery life. We are currently drawing 67 amps. It's gonna tell us right here, how many hours in our current configuration do we have of battery power? So right now it's telling me that I have 17 hours left that I can run just like I am right now with my inverters on, refrigerator on, uh, before this battery pack dies. Now remember, we have two battery packs, so if I hit the down arrow here, there it goes. If I hit the down arrow, it's gonna give me the entire list again for the other battery pack. So I think this is a lot better than it was in 2021 and 2022, giving us, or just the usability of this screen. Cameras, we can cycle through all the cameras. So right now that's the one up in front of the coach. I have a cabinet open, which is what you're seeing. Cycle through exterior cameras, which is going to be that OmniView 360 camera system. We'll talk about that more when we get into the cab. Turn off and on our lights run our power shades and our door locks. Now, all the door locks on this coach are electric, including our baggage doors down below. And now we can control them on Silverleaf as well as the keypad or the key fob that comes with the coach. The 4531 is a 44 feet, 11 inch bath and a half new marking air. So half bath here. In this half bath, we do get an additional medicine cabinet. Uh, you know, just go in there. So additional med medicine cabinet with backlit, a backlit mirror. Very nice looking. A little more storage over to the right side of it. Another solid surface countertop with a pressed stainless steel sink. and then more storage down below the countertop. A little bit hard with our camera configuration here to be able to see this, but if you want, shoot me a text. I will send you better pictures of the entire bathroom storage setup. Let's move on to kitchen stuff. So new for 2023, Numar took away one of our shelves for the rollout pantry and gave us a space down here for bakeware, cutting boards, you know, those taller pans, which I think is a really good idea. You know, that stuff's always kind of a little tricky to store in motorhomes. And we still get four massive rollout drawers here. Again, soft closing. And then on the 2023s, they have continued the automatic lock. So this black bar over here, when we release the parking brake to take off, it actually rotates around and locks those drawers in place to make sure things aren't sliding around while you're in transit. Each of those shelves is adjustable up and down as needed. Moving forward, now this coach just showed up from the factory, so we're still packed for shipping here, but we have the Viking refrigerator with the freezer down below. Now, this is a residential refrigerator, so it does run off of electricity only. So that's why we have, one of the reasons why we have two 3000 watt inverters. In order to run this refrigerator, you just have to have one of those inverters on. Now, that's gonna draw down your batteries, but while you're driving, your coach is charging off of the alternator on the engine. While you're sitting still, we have the 440 watts of solar, or if we're in a campground, we're plugged into shore power, then we charge that way. Kitchen storage. Now this drawer is gonna look scary. Trust me, we'll teach you how to use everything that's in here. And a lot of these remotes are actually redundant, but you know, when you come with four TVs and a couple sound bars, there's gonna be a lot of remotes that come with them. Down below the sink, we do have roll out drawers for a trash can. Now, right here, I just threw them in here because I wanted to show it. We do have a spot to put our sink covers for this big stainless steel sink. And then I'm just gonna pop this back on. The Newmark King Air does have quartz countertops. So a very nice high quality countertop here.
and then with those counter or sink covers on we get a little bit more prep space while we're cooking now down below our stove top covers we do get cutting boards built in so if you don't want to carry them with you you don't necessarily have to it does come on both and then the 23 king air does come standard with the wolf two burner induction cooktop and up above that viking convection microwave more storage here with another pull out drawer as well as a shelf up top now all of our shelves in this coach are carpet lined so uh, things don't rattle around while we're in transit and they're also all adjustable up and down as needed more storage another drawer and then on the opposite of the side we do have the euro booth dinette so in here we get 24 inches of extension on the table underneath the bed there are two folding chairs that are going to match the decor of this coach that you can set up in order to have more people sit here but beautiful very comfortable dinette i'm going to go ahead and close this back up while i'm sitting here even with it in its full collapse position there's plenty of room here for two people to eat play cards have a drink whatever you need notice these windows here these are going to be dual pane tinted bonded windows so dual pane, you get a little bit better thermal uh, insulation. So keep you warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. Also helps with noise to keep noise out while you're in your campground. And bonded windows just look a lot nicer. We've gotten rid of that black framing that we used to have on the RV windows. And then moving across, we did option this particular coach with an 84 inch theater seating. So they are power extend power retract theater seats with storage here in the middle with power inside of it so we have two 110 volt outlets as well as two um, 12 volt USBs and then right next to me here uh, here we are so on this touch screen here what I just did is I pushed the televator button up now that is going to raise my 55 inch 8 or 8K LED TV. Now this is a Samsung, again a smart TV, so if we want to use our streaming services, we absolutely can here. We also have a Bose 900 series soundbar for a little bit better sound quality than what you're going to get out of those TV speakers. So as that's going up, let's talk about this sofa and then we'll go through one of my favorite features on these coaches. So over here this is a visionary trifold sofa, so this is actually going to fold out and make a queen bed here. Uh, it is a 74 inch sofa. Very comfortable. You know, if you do have guests over, they, we have multiple seating positions. Both our driver and passenger seat are going to swivel as well as become recliner, recliners for additional seating space in the living room here. Going to get one more look at that Samsung 55 inch TV. And then I'm going to put that away. We're going to talk about just a few more things. I'm going to shut this. So this little screen here, this little touch screen, we've got 11 of these in this particular coach. Now this is kind of our general coach control. So we can do things like turn on and off the generator, turn on and off our lights, uh, move our shades up and down, um, fans, all your kind of basic functions. Now one of my favorite modes here, if I go into systems and then hit theater mode, Basically what I just did, touched one button on that touch screen. It's going to dim all of my lights and just turn on the accent lighting around the coach. It also drops all of my blackout shades, automatically lifts that 55 inch TV. Now I made a mistake when I did this because I have the ignition on so that I could run that HWH hydraulic slide for the generator. But normally it would drop those shades all the way down in the front of the coach as well, which is just kind of a nice little cool feature push the button you know you've got guests over grandkids over friends over and you want to watch a movie push one button boom all of our shades go down lights dim TV comes up uh, one of my favorite features pretty fun to play with so another 43 inch 
Samsung HD Smart TV up front there. That is standard on the 2023 new marking air. And then we looked at this briefly when I put slides out, but this is going to be our control panel for the rest of the coach. So over on the left side, we have the solar panel charge controller. So that is for that 440 watts of solar on the roof. Really nothing you need to do with that. In fact, you really don't want to play with it too much. If you change settings, it will go or it will stop working. Controls for our WineGuard Razer automatic TV uh, antenna. So that's for your local over the air channels TV. Controls for those Gerard awnings outside. Two slide out switches exterior LEDs this is actually LED lights underneath the slide outs just for a little bit better lighting when you're walking around at night exterior entry step on and off the Wi-Fi router on and off exterior security lights uh, driver side security lights uh, passenger side security lights and then the privacy drapes for the cab here so that's gonna be the true blackout shades for the cab now all the way around this coach we get both the blackout shade or we have day shades as well so coming down behind this one now we still get light in through these but it makes it very difficult to see into the coach from the exterior and then another silver leaf control panel to control all of our major functions this is the same one that's in the bedroom just in a different position and then the 2023 new mark king air does come standard with a tablet to control all those coach functions as well now dropping down into the cab here Spartan made some changes. So we have a new glass dash. Still have the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So button on the side here to bring this steering wheel down to me for a more comfortable seating position or ride position. It also tele telescopes so it moves in and out depending on where I want it to be. Now on the steering wheel we have a new switch stack down here. This is going to be all of our radio controls. So volume up, volume down, source, play, skip, and then we also have a switch to hit our high beams. Now this is really handy if you're driving and you know a semi passes you, you want to let them know that you're clear. You can just look down, push this button, release it to flash, or you can do the marker lights, which just flashes the marker lights instead of the high beams. Still have the controls for the dash here. Now standard on the 2023 Newmark King Air, we do have adaptive cruise control on guard collision mitigation system. So that's going to speed us up and slow us down with the flow of traffic rather than us having to turn the cruise control off by hitting the brakes. It's also going to be an emergency braking system which will slow you down um, in the event that you're going too fast and it thinks you're going to collide with someone. We also have TPMS here on the dash on all eight tires. On the info screen here, this is one of my favorite functions of the King Air because it's the only coach I've ever seen that does this. We actually have in it an indicator here to tell us if any of our bay doors are open. So I left one open outside for this reason so that you can see right there it's red showing that that door is open. Now if I, weren't to, if I didn't go to the info screen before taking off, it actually pops it up on the dash right away once I release the parking brake, letting me know that I have a door open on the exterior. Trip monitor and then your normal um, just dash options. So one last one, standard on the 2023 King Air, we do have air leveling. So that's going to use the airbags underneath this coach to level it rather than dropping jacks. Now we do have a jack backup, which we'll get to, but this is a great, you know, if we're just stopping for the night in a uh, truck stop parking lot or whatever, you can go ahead and air level the coach, still sleep comfortably without having the blood rush to your head and without dropping your jacks down. Now over here on the left side, HWH computerized leveling, that is going to be the jacks. So that is four point automatic leveling. Touchpad for that Allison 4000 TR or MH transmission. So that is a six speed automatic transmission. Tag dump switch, engine brake on and off master switch, and then engine brake high, medium, or low. So three stage engine brake on the 2023 King Air. Over here, wireless charging for our cell phones. And then you can barely see them, but over on the left side here, we also have driver memory seat. So there's three options there. So primary driver, secondary driver, and what we always tell people is set your third one for where the steering wheel will, or where the seat can be swiveled around without hitting the steering wheel or colliding with things. So these are actually, the driver's seat memory actually will adjust the steering wheel, the mirrors, and the seat to that driver's preferences. So. Basically what I would do 
get nice and comfortable, hit set, hit one, and then if someone gets in here and messes with my seat, messes with my steering wheel and mirrors, um, I hit the one again, it'll take me right back to where I was comfortable. And then, continuing on the left side of the steering wheel, we have automatic traction control override, power toll window for the driver, air horn, house and chassis battery boost, bright and dim the dash, dome lights on and off, auto high beams on and off, headlights on and off. So we do have auto headlights as well as auto high beams. So auto headlights, they just come on when it gets dark outside. Auto high beams turn on and off so that you don't have to sit here and hold the switch. Power mirror adjustment, heated mirrors. And then over here, we have the Kurt integrated trailer brake. So if we're towing a trailer, that's gonna be our braking system. And then this cool switch right here, which is the heavy tow mode. So what that does is it actually inflates the rear axle, the tag axle airbags a little bit more than what it normally would and redistributes the weight of a heavy tra trailer across the length of the motorhome. So we actually tested this the other day with one of my customers who bought, bought a 2022 King Air who carries a motorcycle on the back of it. So basically it changed the weight by about 700 pounds on the drive axles and redistributed that weight up to the front so that he got a smoother, more comfortable ride. Over here, standard on the 23, we do have a heated steering wheel. One of those things that once you have, you never want to live without. Front fans, that's going to be these louvers underneath here. Everyone who has Class A's and drives them in the winters knows that it's a little bit hard to keep them warm up in the front. So Numar gave us a front fan, which is going to pull heat off of the Oasis system, our furnace, and provide it in the cab. Overhead fans, which are back behind the cabinets. Those work great for defrosting. The window also just for airflow while you're sitting up here. Docking lights, which are rearward facing lights. So if we're backing into a spot at night, we can see nice and well. Courtesy lights, which is lights along the floor. So if we're driving at night and someone needs to walk back to use the restroom, we can light up that floor for them. Generator start and stop, entry lock, and then our shades for the cab. Now over here on the screen, we do have a couple different things going on. So one, new for 2023, the new Mark Kinger does come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And then over here we have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth as our input sources. Go to camera control. Now the right screen here is a dedicated camera screen. So it's gonna show us our full-time backup camera unless we set it otherwise. We'll scroll through them. So this is looking out the front, looking out the right blinker, looking directly out the right side, back to the rear, directly out the left side, and then left blinker. And then we can adjust here and put some of those together to give us our most optimal view. And we also get through 360 camera view, which is kind of like a bird's eye view looking down from the top of the motorhome so that we can see all the way around as we're backing up or moving this coach around. Now it's a little funky looking right now because I've got slides out that are interfering. And then storage drawers down below. You know, I'm the kind of person I hate sitting on my wallet, so anytime I get in the car, I take it out. This is a great place to put that before I take off. And then on the passenger side, we get another screen. So the passenger can one, control the cameras, two, control the navigation. Now this coach does come standard with nav and go navigation, which sets to the parameters of this coach. So it'll tell us, or we'll set in there that it's 44 feet, 11 inches long, uh, 13 two high and a 54,000 pound GVWR. And then it won't take us down roads that we won't be able to make it down. We also have wireless charging for the passenger seat, as well as standalone HVAC controls which can be disabled by the driver if there's only one person sitting in this coach. Now, both our driver and passenger seat are nine-way power seats. They are heated and cooled and have a massaging function in them. So driver comfort and passenger comfort in this coach is uh, definitely up there. And I think that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. Um, brand new 2023 Newmark King Air 4531. This coach is available. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.